as for which night it is, which night of Ramadan, uh, there is a, a huge debate between the Muslim scholars about this to the extent that Al-Hafid ibn Hajar rahimahullah mentioned 46 different opinions among the Muslim scholars in regard to this. Uh, for instance, the most famous hadith uh, and the most authentic as well, the Prophet ﷺ said, min That seek it in the last seven days from the ten days. And this hadith in Bukhari and, and others, I mean, hadith Bilal, hadith Ibn Umar radiallahu anhu. Also, there is another hadith where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, I saw a dream and I saw myself in that dream that Laylat al-Qadr was in the day where I, I, I prayed and it was muddy. Uh, Abu Sa'id al-Khudri radiallahu anhu said, and that uh, basically it took uh, place يوم عشرين in the night of the 21st. So one of night, the 21st, during the Prophet ﷺ was Laylat al-Qadr. Also happened to be in another hadith, it happened to be, took place in the 23rd. Uh, uh, and there is another hadith took place in the 27th. So we have all this hadith. And Aisha radiallahu anha said, تحر ليلة القدر في الوتر من العشر الأخير من رمضان. In the odd nights, in the last 10 nights of Ramadan, in 21, 23rd, 25th, 27th, 29th, okay? And النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم in another hadith قال فالتمسوها في التاسعة والسابعة والخامسة. 29, 27, and 25. And this is in Sahih al-Bukhari. Uh, 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 in a famous hadith, Hadith Ubadah ibn al-Samit radiallahu an wa arda. Uh, Ubay ibn Ka'b used to swear by Allah that it is in the 27th. Because one of the nights he saw it and the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa gives some uh, a description for it and it took place in the 27th. That's why kana yahlif billah. And also Ibn Abbas radiallahu an, he used to say it's in the 27th. That's why it became his very famous opinion that it is the 27th. But as you, you heard me, the Nabi Sallallahu never really uh, 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 yani said that it is only the 27th. Uh, and the hadith give us different uh, uh, days uh, that it took place during the Prophet Sallallahu That led some scholars to say that it looks like this night will be different from one year to another. So maybe one year the 23rd, one year the 21st, because the time concept for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is completely different than our time concept. Because you might say it is a it is a night that Allah descended the Quran, so it has to be a fixed night. Well, no, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala time for him is not like the way our time works. So what it seems to be, Wallahu A'lam, that it is it can be different. And th this opinion is very strong, in my opinion, because this is how you explained all these ahadith that suggest a different name, different days that Laylat al-Qarib took place uh, uh, during these nights, 21st or 23rd or 27th, uh, that it can be different from one night to another. And this is for a reason. The Prophet ﷺ never decided or told us when this Laylat al-Qadr exactly is because he doesn't want us to avoid the rest of the night or to focus only in one night and the rest of the nights will be neglected. And unfortunately, you see this happening sometimes for some Muslims. They only go to the 27th and they don't care for the last 10 days of Ramadan. And that's not uh, uh, correct. So even those who said in the odd nights, Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah raised the question, odd nights, the last uh, odd nights in the last 10 days of Ramadan. He said, which you, you count from the top or from the bottom? Because if you go from the bottom up, what is odd will be even and what's even will be odd if you go from the top to the bottom. Yani going 21st, 23rd, 25th. But if you look at the end of Ramadan, it's ended 30th. So you go the 29, the 27, it will be completely the opposite. That's why I would say, you know what? Just focus on the 10 nights. Every night stand up before Allah. Every night make dua. Every night do good deeds during this 10 nights. And remember, the effort that we put in the good deeds soon will be gone. But the reward will be left behind, will always remain for us. I want to say also in the end, that a lot of people fascinated, especially lately, last few years I've been seeing this, fascinated with the sign of the uh, uh, night of Laylat al-Qadr. Uh, and they look at these signs. For example, one of the signs that it will have like a, uh, a shower, like it will be rain, like not heavy rain, light rain. And they said also, in the some of the ahadith, it is not uh, very hot, it's not very cold. Uh, and also 
ليلة مطيرة إن البخاري. Also that the sun will come up and there is no rays for it. Uh, so people take pictures and you know get fascinated with this. And I want to say something. It's yeah, يعني, uh, need to be understood. Sign. They don't necessitate what they are signed for. I don't know that easy to be understood. But with the example, it will be very easy. Uh, if I tell you what will be the sign for the rain outside, you will say cloud or the the street are wet. That's a sign for the rain. If you see a cloud or you see the street wet, is that means it was raining? No, sign, they do not necessitate what they are signed for. It could be wait for another reason. That's why even if you see it a uh, 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 calm night or you see the sunrise with no rays, it doesn't necessarily mean that was Laylatul Qadr. Okay? Yeah, I'm saying this because it became a little bit uh, annoying sometimes uh, uh, how people are, are very sure this was Laylatul Qadr. Well, you know, take it easy. Just do your best every night. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of us. Aisha said, Ya Rasulullah, if I witness Laylatul Qadr, what should I say? He said, Allahumma inna ka'afu, tuhibbu al-afu fa'afu anni. Ya Allah, you love to forgive, so forgive me. May Allah forgive all of us. Assalamu alaikum.